babies are so cute. They are adorable and innocent. Oh, look at those chubby cheeks. I can poke them all day. It doesn't matter if the baby's mine or not. All babies are adorable. Mom, I thought you were visiting your friend. Uh, was her name Mary? Uh, did she have a baby or something? Why are you suddenly talking about babies and how cute they are? But she's around the same age as you. Isn't she a bit too old to have a baby? Whose baby is it? If she actually succeeded getting pregnant at this age, that's a great development in modern medicine. Of course it's not her baby. If it was her baby, I would have paid for the treatment ages ago to get you pregnant. It's her daughter's baby. She's a grandma now. Her daughter gave birth last month. She knows her priorities well. Apparently, she's staying with her mother for a while to take care of the baby. It's difficult for new mothers to deal with babies all the time on their own. Mary is so lucky she'll be able to look after her newborn grandchild. Oh, I see. Babies are really adorable. They have a magical charm. I know it's hard to look after them, but once we see them smile and they wrap their hands around our fingers, your stress is gone in an instant. That's what my friend says. I go visit her once in a while, but it's so nice to interact with babies. I think I'm visiting her just to play with her baby at this point. It makes me so happy to see them. Their smile is infectious. I agree. It's really a blessing to have a baby. It's been a few decades since I gave birth to my son. Has it been nearly 30 years? Oh my, time flies so fast. I had so much fun playing with Mary's grandchild today, I rarely get to interact with babies at my age. I really don't have the opportunity. I wonder why Mary already has a grandchild while I still have none. Yeah, we don't get to interact with young kids unless we're a teacher or something. But I guess that's normal. Normal? Not at my age and when my son is already married! All my friends and neighbors are having a wonderful time with their grandchildren already! It's obvious whose fault this is. How about you take a look around the neighborhood, dear? I bet all your friends have had at least one baby by now. Don't pretend like it's not your fault at all. I'm sorry, but I think it's my choice. And didn't you say it's a blessing to have a child? It's not like we can have a baby any time. We have to wait for the right time. We're taking our time. It's already been three years since you got married with Tim. I think I've waited long enough. Mary's daughter was pregnant as soon as she got married to her husband. Are you telling me you've never had your right time in the past three years? That's very, very unfortunate. Sasha, you must be very unlucky. I've never heard of anyone so unlucky. Are you possessed? I am not, but I've always been unlucky. It always rains whenever I go out, and the waiter often forgets my orders. I guess I angered God or something in my past life. Tim always teases me about how unlucky I am. <laughs> the last time we went out for a date, the waiter forgot my order again, and he couldn't stop laughing. I didn't ask for the details. Who would want to hear about your date? I was just being sarcastic. Don't you understand jokes? You're not only unlucky, but also really boring. Oh, I never realized. I'm sorry I didn't get your joke. Sarcasm is not my thing. I think I'm too straightforward. Sasha, you really have a carefree personality. I guess you're also very optimistic, or maybe you're just a little bit stupid. I think your personality is also to be blamed. That's why you still don't have a child. You should really start thinking about your future and making plans. You'll be too old to give birth in no time. Tick tock, tick tock. I don't think personality is much of an issue. I think you're making connections between unrelated matters. Really? I don't think so. I heard Tim's busy recently. He comes home late, doesn't he? What if he's not busy and was just lying to you? 
He might be too tired to deal with your personality. I think he prefers to be at work than to deal with you at home. Poor Tim. He can't even take a rest at home. And he still doesn't have a child. You've been making him wait for so long. No, Tim's really busy. He looks really tired every day when he gets home. And he told me the whole story. We value honesty in our relationship. Don't worry too much about it, Mom. You're overthinking and being too negative. I hope that's true. Because if I were Tim, I wouldn't be so understanding. A wife who has a problematic personality and can't give birth to his child no matter how long he waits... I don't think he has enough time to deal with someone like you. I think you're looking down on Tim by saying that. I thought you were proud to have him as your son. Tim will never judge me based on if I gave birth to his child or not. I think you know how kind Tim is more than anyone. He loves me the way I am, including my personality. If not, why would he marry me in the first place? There's absolutely nothing to worry about. Okay, okay, I think it's no use talking to you. Well, if you believe so, Sasha, I won't stop you. I'm just trying to give you some advice to maintain a good relationship with Tim. As Tim's mother, I am pretty sure that Tim has different visions about this issue. I know how he's like. Okay, let's stop talking about this, shall we? The conversation is not taking us anywhere. And most importantly, whether I get pregnant or not is not your business. It's our problem. Something to decide between me and Tim. We'll discuss this issue ourselves. How is it not my business? It obviously is. Your child is my grandchild. I am going to be his or her grandmother. I should have a say in this matter. I'm going to be related to this child. But there's nothing you can do, is there? Calm down, Mom. This is a private matter. We want to keep this private as possible. So, can you please leave us alone? I'll make sure to let you know when we plan everything out, okay? Are you talking back to your mother-in-law? I cannot believe it. How rude. Why did Tim get such a rude wife? It's a matter of time until Tim dumps you. One day he'll no longer be able to tolerate your rude behaviors. I guess I'll have to try hard to maintain this relationship then. Thanks for the advice. Sasha, hello, are you there? Where did you put my favorite tea? I can't find it at the usual spot. It's in the top cabinet. Can you reach it? Be careful when you reach for it. If you need any help, I'll get it for you when I get home. Why would you put it in the top cabinet when you know that I drink it every day? Can't you be more considerate? And why are you not home, Sasha? Have you done all the housework? It's your duty as the in-law to cook, clean, and serve us nice tea whenever we ask you to. If you can't do that, I don't know why I'm living with my son's wife. It's going to stress me out dealing with your problematic attitude. Okay, I'm sorry if I troubled you. Make sure you tell me next time when you're leaving the house. It's rude to leave without a single word, isn't it? I can't believe you can't even do such a simple thing. I guess you're not educated enough. I hope you can be more considerate about your parents-in-law. It's the bare minimum you can do as the daughter-in-law. Um, I'm sorry to tell you this, but I did tell you that I was leaving. Did you forget? You even answered me when I told you so. Huh? Are you trying to say that I forgot? Do you think I'm so old that I won't remember something that's happened just a few hours ago? Are you trying to blame me? How dare you? I didn't say that. We forget sometimes regardless of our age. I just wanted to tell you I did actually tell you before I left. So what? What's your problem? If I don't remember you telling me, that means you haven't told me you were leaving. It doesn't matter if you actually told me or not. What's the point if I don't remember? Understood? That doesn't make any sense. I, I think that's very selfish of you. Are you talking back to me again? Haven't you learned your lesson? 
You're really stressing me out. If only Tim hadn't married you, I wouldn't have to deal with you. How about you stop talking back to me and get pregnant with Tim's child? Go and make yourself busy with something else. How much longer are you going to make me wait? I'll probably end my life without meeting my grandchild at this pace. I'm sorry about that. Hmm. At least you feel sorry and better than nothing. So, why are you not home? Where are you? What are you doing? When are you coming home? I had an appointment with my doctor. I'm still at the hospital, so it's going to take some time. I'll be home by afternoon. Hospital? Are you sick? What, did you catch a cold? You can't even take care of yourself. Well, yeah, it, it's nothing serious. It's no big deal. I'll be on my way home as soon as possible. It's not a big deal? Okay, then why is it taking you so long? You're taking too much time. Tell me the truth. I know you're lying about your visit to the doctor. How come a single checkup is taking several hours? I'm not lying. I'm visiting a hospital that's far away from home. It's also my first visit, so it's taking more time than usual. I'm being completely honest with you. This is the reason why it's taking long. You visited a hospital far away just because you caught a cold? Nonsense. You have to be lying. I don't believe what you said. I'm telling you it's the truth. I'm being honest. Okay, okay, whatever. The only thing you're expected to do is housework, yet you're still going out to play, abandoning your responsibilities. You don't even have a child to look after. At least do some housework, Sasha. I'm really disappointed in you. I honestly don't understand why Tim married you. You're the worst wife ever. I am so embarrassed to have a daughter-in-law like you. I am really at the hospital. I'm not lying. If you can't believe me, feel free to ask Tim. He knows that I'm not lying. He should be able to prove it to you, but I do hope you can believe my words, Mom. Tim's a nice boy. He'll always be on your side and lie for you. He's too kind to reveal the truth about his wife playing around. How horrible can you be, Sasha? You're trying to make your husband lie for you. Aren't you embarrassed to do something so horrible? Don't you feel bad for your husband? How many times do I have to tell you I am being honest? Am I not trustworthy? Why aren't you believing my words? You haven't been able to fulfill your role as my son's wife if you can't give birth to his baby. You're the kind of wife all parents despise. How can I trust someone like you, Sasha? You're not enough to be my son's wife. How about you finally accept how worthless you are as Tim's wife and my daughter-in-law? I think you're being too harsh on me. I'm human, too. It hurts when I hear you say things like that. Oh, I'm sorry. I have to leave. My doctor called. See you later. Okay, okay. As if I believe that. I can't believe you're still trying to pretend you're at the hospital. You should thank me for being such an understanding mother-in-law. Not a single word of thanks? How rude. Thank you, Mom. I'll be home by noon. If there's anything, you can text me anytime, but I might not be able to get back to you while I'm having my appointment. Lunch is in the fridge. You can warm it up when you get hungry. See you later. Sasha, hello, are you there? Where did you put my favorite tea? I can't find it at the usual spot. It's in the top cabinet. Can you reach it? Be careful when you reach for it. If you need any help, I'll get it for you when I get home. Why would you put it in the top cabinet when you know that I drink it every day? Can't you be more considerate? And why are you not home, Sasha? Have you done all the housework? It's your duty as the in-law to cook, clean, and serve us nice tea whenever we ask you to. If you can't do that, I don't know why I'm living with my son's wife. It's going to stress me out dealing with your problematic attitude. Okay, I'm sorry if I troubled you. Make sure you tell me next time when you're leaving the house. It's rude to leave without a single word, isn't it? I can't believe you can't even do such a simple thing. I guess you're not educated enough. I hope you can be more considerate about your parents-in-law. 
It's the bare minimum you can do as the daughter-in-law. Um, I'm sorry to tell you this, but I did tell you that I was leaving. Did you forget? You even answered me when I told you so. Huh? Are you trying to say that I forgot? Do you think I'm so old that I won't remember something that's happened just a few hours ago? Are you trying to blame me? How dare you? I didn't say that. We forget sometimes regardless of our age. I just wanted to tell you I did actually tell you before I left. So what? What's your problem? If I don't remember you telling me, that means you haven't told me you were leaving. It doesn't matter if you actually told me or not. What's the point if I don't remember? Understood? That doesn't make any sense. I, I think that's very selfish of you. Are you talking back to me again? Haven't you learned your lesson? You're really stressing me out. If only Tim hadn't married you, I wouldn't have to deal with you. How about you stop talking back to me and get pregnant with Tim's child? Go and make yourself busy with something else. How much longer are you going to make me wait? I'll probably end my life without meeting my grandchild at this pace. I'm sorry about that. Hm, at least you f feel sorry and better than nothing. So, why are you not home? Where are you? What are you doing? When are you coming home? I had an appointment with my doctor. I'm still at the hospital, so it's going to take some time. I'll be home by afternoon. Hospital? Are you sick? What, did you catch a cold? You can't even take care of yourself. Well, yeah, it, it's nothing serious. It's no big deal. I'll be on my way home as soon as possible. It's not a big deal? Okay, then why is it taking you so long? You're taking too much time. Tell me the truth. I know you're lying about your visit to the doctor. How come a single checkup is taking several hours? I'm not lying. I'm visiting a hospital that's far away from home. It's also my first visit, so it's taking more time than usual. I'm being completely honest with you. This is the reason why it's taking long. You visited a hospital far away just because you caught a cold? No. Nonsense. You have to be lying. I don't believe what you said. I'm t telling you it's the truth. I'm being honest. Okay, okay, whatever. The only thing you're expected to do is housework, yet you're still going out to play, abandoning your responsibilities. You don't even have a child to look after. At least do some housework, Sasha. I'm really disappointed in you. I honestly don't understand why Tim married you. You're the worst wife ever. I am so embarrassed to have a daughter-in-law like you. I am really at the hospital. I'm not lying. If you can't believe me, feel free to ask Tim. He knows that I'm not lying. He should be able to prove it to you, but I do hope you can believe my words, Mom. Tim's a nice boy. He'll always be on your side and lie for you. He's too kind to reveal the truth about his wife playing around. How horrible can you be, Sasha? You're trying to make your husband lie for you. Aren't you embarrassed to do something so horrible? Don't you feel bad for your husband? How many times do I have to tell you I am being honest? Am I not trustworthy? Why aren't you believing my words? You haven't been able to fulfill your role as my son's wife if you can't give birth to his baby. You're the kind of wife all parents despise. How can I trust someone like you, Sasha? You're not enough to be my son's wife. How about you finally accept how worthless you are as Tim's wife and my daughter-in-law? I think you're being too harsh on me. I'm human, too. It hurts when I hear you say things like that. Oh, I'm sorry. I have to leave. My doctor called. See you later. Okay, okay, as if I believe that. I can't believe you're still trying to pretend you're at the hospital. You should thank me for being such an understanding mother-in-law. Not a single word of thanks? How rude. Thank you, Mom. I'll be home by noon. If there's anything, you can text me anytime, but I might not be able to get back to you while I'm having my appointment. Lunch is in the fridge. You can warm it up when you get hungry. See you later. Sasha, what did you tell Tim? He said he'll also break relations with me. I'm his real mother. How could he ever tell me that? 
You must have told him something and manipulated him, you wicked girl! Excuse me? Don't blame me, I didn't manipulate him. I just told him what happened today, including the conversation I had with you. I had to fill him in with a lot of things. The only thing I did was talk to him like I do every day. I did nothing wrong. That cannot be true. You're lying again. What have you done? If it was really just that, he'll never break relations with me. We've always had a great relationship as son and mother. I know you said horrible things about me and manipulated him into breaking relations with me. How dare you? I am being completely honest. I never lied or manipulated him. But I do understand the reason why he decided to break relations with you. I think it's pretty clear why. What do you mean? What are you two hiding from me? Nothing. I've been telling you this many times already. But it's not important whether I'm able to get pregnant or not. We got married because we're in love. My infertility won't change our love towards each other. Are you trying to tell me that he still loves you even if you're infertile? Sasha, you're being delusional. Don't you understand that Tim was just being kind to you so that he won't hurt your feelings? My son has a very kind heart. Do you think he still loves you? Of course not. Why are you so confident? How can you be so sure that you know everything about Tim? It's because I'm his mother, Sasha. How many times have I been telling you this? I know everything about Tim. How many years do you think I've spent with him? That's how mothers are. I know you have no idea what it's like to be a mother. You have to accept it. That's just how it is. I guess it's really hard for you to understand as a defective wife. You're not a proper wife, nor a mother. Yes, I've never given birth like you, and I have no idea what it's like to be a mother. It's all new to me. Like you said, I'm a bit different from what you call a normal wife, but I've been trying to be the best wife for Tim. I am confident that I know Tim better than you. We love each other and share the same values. I'm his wife and I know him the best. You can't tell me otherwise. Really? You think you know him better than me, his real mother? I've known him for nearly 30 years. Are you looking down on me? Where's your proof? Why can you be so sure? You're just making assumptions about him. Nothing is certain. You believe Tim has the same ideas as you because he's your son. He's been a different person living a different life. He won't always have the same ideas as you. You're being delusional and trying to believe you know everything about him just because you're his mother. That's why Tim broke relations with you. Turns out you were the one who wasn't facing the harsh reality. Huh? How am I making assumptions? I'm just stating the facts. First of all, Tim isn't desperate about having a baby. Although he hopes to be a father one day, it doesn't have to be now. He says he'll be more than happy if I successfully get pregnant, but he's not in a rush. He prioritizes my health more than anything. He's willing to wait until I get pregnant. Huh? What are you saying? Th that can't be true. To be honest, it was my ego to try fertility treatment. He never pressured me or anything. I just wanted to try everything I can. Both Tim and I wanted to become a parent one day. How wonderful would it be if I can get pregnant with my husband's baby? I persuaded him saying that I'll give up if I still can't get pregnant after undergoing the treatment. It's my last hope. We would be overjoyed if I actually succeeded to get pregnant. So are you telling me it was your idea to try out the fertility treatment? Really? Then what about Tim? He really didn't say anything about you getting the treatment? He's definitely very supportive of me. He says it's up to me. Tim told me that I didn't have to worry about the expenses required for the treatment, and he hopes for what's best for me. I was moved when he said he's happy enough just being with me. Even if I can't get pregnant, he'll still love me for the rest of his life and promised to make us the happiest couple on earth. Well, we'll be more than happy if I actually get pregnant. But you're defective. You're not normal. Why would he love you so much? I don't understand. There's much better wives out there in the world. How many women do you think there are? 
He'll definitely live a happier life if he gets married with a wife who can get pregnant naturally. That's normal and what everyone dreams to do. Isn't that your opinion? You're assuming things about Tim again. That's not what Tim thinks. Tim loves me and I love him. Don't you understand that this is why he broke relations with you? You don't understand him at all. I'm just hoping for the best for my son. I want him to live a happy life. I don't want him to waste his life on a woman like you. I can't believe he chose you over his real mother. He's a really kind boy. He wouldn't have broken relations with me if you didn't manipulate him. Tell me what you did to him. How did you manipulate him, you wicked girl? I just told him what you said to me. The only thing I shared with him is the conversation we had. We want our own child. He wants my child who I gave birth to. He doesn't want a child with someone else. He loves me and he wants my child. You don't seem to understand that and said very rude and hurtful things to me. I was shocked when you told me to leave the house. It's natural for Tim to want to break relations with you. You were horrible to me just because I was unable to bear a child. How dare you say that? There's nothing natural about him breaking relations with me. He is my real son. I've been taking care of him for all these years. I love him and have cherished him for all my life. How come you come along so suddenly and take him away from me? How can a defective wife ever steal my son from me? I'll never forgive you, Sasha. I won't accept this. You are indeed Tim's real mother, and I know you've taken great care of him as your beloved son. I am thankful that you gave birth to him, and so is he. Thanks to you, we are able to meet and get married. I'll always be thankful to you. That's right. You should thank me more. I'm his mother, and nothing can change that. We have a strong bond, okay? But that's just it. You're just his mother. You have no control over him. It's his own life. You can't just push your own ideals to Tim. You never tried to understand what he really thinks about this issue and made assumptions. He's a different person with a different life. He experienced different things and developed his unique ideas as well as personalities. He is not your clone. You seem to lack consideration and respect for your own son and not to mention your son's wife. I guess you're a defective human being if you can't do these basic things as a human being. My husband was furious about how horribly his mother treated me. He decided to break relations with her without a second thought and moved in with me at my parents' house. His mother was shocked that her beloved son actually broke relations with her. She now lives alone at her house where we used to live with her. She'll have to suffer from the loneliness for the rest of her life. After a few months passed since we broke relations with her, I was successfully able to get pregnant. I'm guessing a miracle happened now that I'm free from stress caused by his mother. A year after a stable pregnancy, I gave birth to our daughter. Both of us are now out of the hospital and healthy as ever. We left our parents' house shortly after and we live in a brand new house with just the three of us now. Just to be nice, my husband informed his mother about me successfully giving birth. She hasn't seen her grandchild and I'm pretty sure she'll never be able to. If she had been more understanding about my infertility and supportive of my treatment, we still might have been living with her at her house. We might have had a very different outcome if she was more accepting. She failed to achieve her dreams of taking care of her grandchild because of herself. Isn't that very ironic?